one that has accounted for 24 bodies lying in morgues. And those bodies, the records show that these people either died in hospital and while undergoing treatment for gunshot wounds, or they ended up in the morgue in the last two weeks with gunshot wounds, 24. These 24, Mr. President, are you saying that the security agencies have told you that these 24 were criminals, that these 24 were armed, they were posing a danger to the police officers, and that is what necessitated the police to use live bullets on them. Because the circumstances for the police officer to use a live bullet is clear, even in their own code of operations. It is when the life of that police officer is in danger, or when somebody else's life is clearly in danger, and the person who is endangering that person is armed. Were the 24 armed? Did they pose a danger, a direct threat to the police? Two things. The same Kenya Human Rights Commission. Kenya National Commission. Kenya Human. National Commission. The government agency. Yeah, the government agency. Yes. Told the nation that there was a massacre in Githurai and 20 people were killed in Kithurai. Were 20 people killed in Kithurai? Really? The Kenya National Commission on Human Rights does not have records of 20 people killed no, in No, but, but that's, that's their statement. It is, it is a statement that is public, you know? So the same Kenya Human Rights, uh, Kenya Commission, uh, Human Rights, National, National, Commission. Hum, uh, National Human Rights Commission told the country a blatant fake news falsehood. That are you, are there you saying this, a massacre this 24 in, is um, also... Let me, let me, you ask me a question. Allow me to answer. Yes. They, they to, that's what they told the country. So an organization that can tell the country without verifying that there was a massacre in Kidurai. In fact, BBC, on that account, went to investigate in Kidurai. And of course, you know, you have read, BBC has said there was no massacre in Githurai. Mr. President. There was one person who was shot by the police. Let me, yeah, let me, let yeah, me answer. Yeah. So, an organization that is as reckless as to say there was a massacre when there was none, now is telling us there are 24, the police are saying 19. We will, we will find out where the numbers are. Okay. But that is the credibility of the organization okay, Mr. that you are telling. Mr. President, question. that, that may let, well be. Let, 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 me, let me also... You may, my, my just question, on Mr. that issue, just so that Eric can follow up. The people you who may, died, yeah, that's where I'm coming. why are they a danger that, that's to the where, police? That's where I'm coming. Are they the criminals that you're talking about? Let me tell you two things. There will be an investigation on how these 19 Kenyans died. There will be a clarity, an explanation for each and every one of them. I have told you one situation where somebody accosted the police, took over the firearm, started to shoot at people, endangering the lives of many other Kenyans. He was shot by the police. There is a situation in parliament. How did the invaders in parliament? They invaded parliament and went straight for the armory at the Moselia. They went straight at the armory at the Sergeant at Arms office. Those are the investigations that we will get into and a proper explanation will be given to the country. Are Mr. weapons President, lost? What I am saying... Are the weapons, are the, are the armories and the mausoleum and inside parliament, that, that, are they that is why missing? That is why there will be an investigation Mr. of how these armories were attacked.